was this story where he took a bunch of pills and then feasted. Yeah, we were at an airport bar one time. I think it was in Los Angeles, but we all were getting ready to go home, and uh, we were just sitting at the bar, and we were there for a long time, too, it seemed. And uh, I just remember, in this case, I had uh, they had these Xanax bars, two milligrams, a sleeping pill. It's a very powerful pill. And uh, I put it in his drink, but what I did is I held it, in my hand and looked at him until he looked at me and I laughed as I dropped it in his drink. So he saw me do it and he said, basically, he said, I ain't fucking scared and he drank it. This son of a bitch ended up taking four of these and it didn't even phase him. He just kind of walked, we watched him, he just kind of walked off to his plane, to his flight. Um, that was one of the most amazing things I ever saw, though he, <laughs> yeah, I tried to, dose him up with Xanax and he was right. He had every right to not be scared because it didn't affect him. Me and Mantar wrestled quite a bit too for a while when he came in. Uh, and we had a pretty good match we were doing uh, on house shows. And I always had fun working with him. He was a big dude. He worked a little snug, not stiff, but you knew he was there. But man, he could move good for a big guy too. Um, but we had this spot where it was just kind of like the spot I was doing with Triple H where he would backdrop me. It was just something we did every night. Every night we did it. And this spot was, I would make a comeback, do the old elbows to the gut, hit the ropes, come off, boom, boom, whatever. Hit the ropes, he would throw the knee to the gut, and I would do the flip forward. Well, on this particular night, he... We did the thing, and I came up. I made the comeback. I elbowed him in the stomach a bunch of times. I hit the ropes. I came off. He didn't hit me with the knee that I was expecting, and I took the front flip bump anyway. <laughs> so it was like an invisible knee to the gut. And uh, I'll never forget that that night in the bar, Dick Murdoch was brought in at that time for a rumble. And he was at some of these shows, wrestling on some of these shows, I believe. But this particular night, he gave me, he blasted me at the bar about it. He laid into me, and I had never spoken to that to Dick Murdoch before that ever. And I never, actually, I never spoke to him afterwards. Um, but he had a few drinks at the bar, and he took that opportunity to let me know how absolutely fucking horrible that spot was. And I just kind of... Try to be respectful and, you know, I think he asked me what I called it and he said something, piece of shit, knee lift spot or something. I said, maybe that's what I should call it. It's a piece of shit, knee lift spot. And he kind of grumbled at me a little bit and then we just went our separate ways. But yeah, that working with Mantar, it was fun. It was interesting. I always love working with Mike. 